Welcome, friends! Today, we're gonna talk about stability mods that works on Fallout 4 Next Gen. Let's go! Just works. All of this just works. Before we begin, I just need to point out some important things. The mods in this list are specifically for Next Gen. Following mods are for PC only. I don't own a console, nor have any plans to buy one. So, sorry guys. A working brain. Unfortunately guys, modding any game requires the ability to read. Read the instructions provided by the authors. What's that? You're 12, can't read, and failed elementary? Just stay there for a second, okay? <laughs> Lastly, configure your settings. Launch the game. Options. We're doing this because we will be tweaking some INI files to make your game smoother. Changing these settings afterwards is going to reset some of the optimizations we're gonna do. The settings will always depend on your PC. In my case, I'm gonna use high. You can do low or ultra. Even turn up your god rays and shadows to torture your PC. Do whatever the heck you want. Now that's out of the way, let's start with the classic. Unofficial Fallout 4 patch. Most of you probably know this by now. This mod contains fixes for the bugs Bethesda couldn't be bothered to fix. Because apparently, All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. To install this mod, download manually like any other mod, and install using a mod manager of your choice. Next up are the engine fixes. Buff Out 4 one of the mods that stabilized the game years ago, now has a next-gen version. This mod fixes engine bugs, has a memory manager, and adds a crash logger for your Fallout 4. These crash logs will help you determine what caused your game to crash. To install this mod, download manually like any other mod, and install using the mod manager of your choice. Next up is Mentat. This mod includes more fixes that are missing from Buff Out 4. It reduces the save file size, fix the debug where the combat music is on an infinite loop even after combat, and many more. Again, just check the description. Next up, Sprint Stuttering Fix. This mod will remove the stuttering and twitching while sprinting in first person and remove the 500 speed cap from the game's memory. For some reason, if the player's speed is above 500, the code that is used to align the camera when flying a vertebrate starts to execute, and that causes the stutters and twitching. But this mod fixes just that. High FPS Physics Fix To those who don't know yet, the physics in Fallout 4 is tied to your FPS. And when you have high FPS, you will notice that things will move at super speed, dialogue and lips will be out of sync, and the physics looks like it's overreacting from every touch or collision you make. So this mod unties the FPS to the game's physics. You can now play the game using the full power of your GPU. To install this mod, download manually and install it using a mod manager of your choice. We can now manually disable the VSync that caps your frame rate. Go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 4. We need to find two files. The first one is Fallout4.ini. The second one is Fallout4prefs.ini. Let's start with Fallout 4 INI. 
hit Control F and type in I present interval and change the value from 1 to 0. Save the file. Now we're gonna repeat the process on the Fallout 4 prefs.ini. Again, Control F and then type in the same word and change the value from 1 to 0. Save the file. Once done, you may now close these two files. Next up, we need to go to the Fallout 4 installation folder. If you're using Steam, you can just right-click Fallout 4, select Properties, Installed Files, then Browse. We're looking for the Fallout 4 underscore default.ini. We're gonna repeat the same process. Again, Control F and type in I present interval and change the 1 to 0. Save and close the file. On the same folder, look for the Fallout 4 folder. Here you can find the Fallout 4 prefs.ini. And you guessed it, we're gonna repeat the process. Again, Control F and type in the I present and change the value from 1 to 0. And you're done! Unless you have an ENB installed. Here's how we do it. Go to the Fallout 4 root folder and look for the ENB local.ini. Hit Ctrl F and type force vsync. We're now gonna change the value from true to false. While we're here, we should also make sure that the enable FPS limit is set to false. There you go. Your game should be stable at this point. The mod also comes with additional features that you can enable by editing the INI file that comes with it. To find this, go back to the Fallout 4 root folder, data, F4SC, plugins. Then look for the high FPS physics fix.ini. Opening this file, you'll see the mod's features alongside with the description of what they do. You can enable or disable these by changing their values from true or false. Setting the value to true will enable the feature and false to disable them. And there you go. If the only mods you have are performance mods or vanilla plus mods, then you may go ahead and stop watching the video to enjoy your Fallout 4. But if you have a bigger mod list and have mods that completely overhauls the world of Fallout 4, spawns NPCs, changes the appearance of NPCs, then I have one more mod for you. This is Excel. This mod is a bit complicated and takes more time compared to the mods prior. But I promise you, this will be worth it. This mod includes more engine fixes that are missing from Buffard 4 Next Gen. It improves threads, has a memory manager, and most importantly, this mod fixes the stutters and crashes caused by Face Gen. You heard me right. Faces can crash the game. So if you have cosmetic mods, skin, makeup, eyelashes, don't lie to me. The most downloaded mod in the Nexus are cosmetic mods for your slurry characters. You elementary failing fu- Your GPU will render these things individually, which causes the game to stutter and even crash. This mod forces the game to pre-render face gen data directly from your drive. You can download Excel like any other mod. But since we have the Buffout 4, we need to tweak the Buffout 4 TOML file. Let's go back to the Fallout 4 installation folder. Right-click Fallout 4, Properties, Installed Files, and Browse. From here, go to Data. F4SC Plugins 
we're looking for buffout4.toml. So we're gonna follow the instructions here. Control F, you can type in the whole word or just the beginning. Like BS texture, I think that's enough. Change the value from true to false. Now we're gonna repeat that process. Control F and type Havoc Memory System. Change the value from true to false. Next is Memory Manager. Change the value from true to false. Scale Form Allocator. Change the value from true to false. Last one, small block allocator. Change the value from true to false. Once you install this mod, you will notice that your NPCs will lose their head. Literally. What we need to do is, create a face gen data. There is a collection of face gen data on the Nexus called Wasteland Wonder Glue Face Gen Edition. Just go to the file section and search for your mod. Control F, then type your mod. But Mattia, what if I can't find my mod in the list? Well, Jimmy, we can generate the face gen ourselves using the Vault Tech Enhanced Face Gen System VEFS For the sake of the video, I'm going to use a quick fix option since it is the easiest and it worked well on my game. I haven't tried Creation Kit yet, so I don't know how to use it. With that said, the only requirements we need right now are Excel and FO Edit. Since we already have Excel, that leaves us with FO4 Edit. Let's install this quick, download the mod manually. Create a new folder. Then extract. Done. Going back to VEFS, download the mod manually. Create a new folder. It's very important to make a separate folder outside of Fallout 4. Creating the folder inside of Fallout 4 folder will cause errors. Once done with the download, extract the contents to the new folder we've just created. Then run the bat file. If you're using Mod Organizer 2, you need to add this as an executable and set the override Steam App ID to 1946160. Follow the on screen instructions. First, it will ask for Fallout 4 installation, followed by xedit. Select everything that you need face gen for. You don't need to select everything here, but in my case, I want all. Click OK. Wait for it to finish. Later on, it will ask if you want quick fix, generate all, generate missing. But as I've mentioned earlier, 
we're gonna do the quick fix option and then we're gonna wait for the VEFS to finish generating your face gen data once it's done you can now go to your mod manager and look for the generated ESP in my case it's face gen output enable that and your NPCs should have their heads back and there you go your game should be optimized at this point does this make the game perfect absolutely not but the improvements are noticeable the game engine has been improved no more lag or stutters high fps reduced loading time and your npcs are sleuths again what a time to be alive you can now go and enjoy your fallout 4 immersive not immersive do whatever the hell you want and that's real good <laughs>